morning. We're uh, here in Lower Manhattan. Um, I'm heading to work, but I'm just going to talk to you for a few minutes. Straight ahead is uh, the Freedom Tower or World Trade Center One uh, under construction, which I'm guessing you can probably see. Um, and uh, we're on uh, Fulton Street here, uh, heading west on a busy morning. Um, a little bit of uh, bike chatter. Uh, I installed a new cup holder here, which you can see uh, by my right handlebar. Um, I had a uh, one of these uh, Portland-style uh, ring cup holders that I adapted from a bicycle um, previously, but it held the cup too low, uh, and I was hitting the gas tank on turns. So. Um, I scouted around, and this is also a bicycle cup holder, but the it's got a base on it, um, which limits the downward travel of the cup, and it also grabs it uh, in a more adjustable way around the middle. So this is much better. Um, it's also more lightweight and, and um, takes up less physical space uh, in the area of the handlebars when it's not in use, uh, and was easier to get off and on. So. Um, big win all around. Um, I was, uh, I, I took a trip uh, earlier this week via JFK Airport and I rode the bike uh, to JFK. I've now done that three or four times and uh, I became the mayor of the JFK motorcycle parking uh, area on Foursquare yesterday, uh, which I'm proud of. Um, the bike did pretty well and for the first time, um, I took my Kyriakin saddlebags with me um, as my uh, airplane luggage. Um, they're a bit large for a carry-on, but uh, Delta didn't have any trouble with me carrying them on um, on my outbound flight. And on my return, because I knew the flight was going to be full, I checked the bags and uh, they arrived without any trouble. So I was very happy about that. Um, they're not really meant to be um, bolted together. Um, I'll show you uh, some some uh, video uh, separately of, of how the bags hold together, and uh, they're velcroed together across the top, which is the area that uh, slings over the rear saddle. Um, but aside from that, they're not uh, secured to each other. And so, what I did was uh, I took a combination lock that I had hanging around. Uh, and I um, clipped the backs of the two bags together uh, via the rings um, and uh, that, that will hold them together securely uh, in the airline system. Uh, and then I found a shoulder strap that I had hanging around from a dead briefcase uh, and I carry that with me so that when I want to uh, and I'm walking around with the bags I can carry them over my back. Um, they're a little unwieldy to carry over my back but I'm a big guy. Uh, and I can handle it for, for short distances. It's a little more convenient um, than just dragging them around. The one uh, negative uh, that I have to say about the bags is that they don't come with any way to hold them uh, with your hand when you're carrying them. So, you know, a shoulder strap would have been nice, uh, but that was a problem that was easy for me to fix. So there, I'm sure now you can see the World Trade Center tower right in front of us. Uh, it's topped out, or at least nearly topped out, uh, and the skin is on most of the way up. Um, it's supposed to be uh, 1776 feet tall when you count the spire, which is not on yet. But uh, all things considered, it, I mean, it took a long time to get started, but it's a nice looking building. Um, they did a good job. And uh, so, you know. Riding the motorcycle to the uh, airport is kind of fun because when you get home, you get to have an adventure uh, rather than just flopping into a taxi and being dragged um, across home uh, and paying a fortune. And it doesn't hurt that motorcycle parking is free at the New York City airports. This is always very congested here. In a minute, I'm going to pull off here on the left. I'm going to stop at the post office uh, for two minutes. Um, and then I'll be back on with you.
well that was a test uh, and we passed I wanted to see if I could park this bike illegally uh, here at this spot um, in front of the post office for the time that it would take me to get my business done uh, right in front of a police officer without getting a ticket uh, and the answer is yes uh, which was a nice surprise not really a surprise that was a traffic officer and traffic officers aren't uh, directly concerned with parking um, but it was always possible that uh, he would just not be in, the, in a good mood and that would be that so we're back on the bike it's uh, raining not really raining just sort of uh, dribbling a little head uptown. The other thing I wanted to talk about today is the new uh, SimCity 5 uh, game version that was released yesterday. Uh, and mostly I just wanted to bitch and say I've been waiting for the game since it was announced six or seven months ago. I've had the release date on my calendar. Uh, yesterday morning I logged on and tried to download and I ended up spending most of the day um, fiddling and still don't have a, a running game. I'm close. Um, I was able to watch the opening movie, uh, but then the game crashed. And it looks like it's because um, I run on a PC emulator, um, Windows XP running uh, under uh, VMware Fusion uh, on a Mac. And it looks like the graphics uh, capability and the processor are both uh, just at the edge of what's necessary to run the game. So I'm kind of bummed about that. Uh, all my PC friends are playing and I'm not playing it. I'm guessing that um, the best solution to this is just to buy a gaming machine, uh, a cheap uh, refurbished laptop for three or four hundred dollars uh, that uh, exceeds the specs and uh, use that for SimCity only. Um, and and uh, other games of that ilk. Um, my boyfriend is a big gamer and um, also on Mac, and I bet he would use a PC laptop if he had one uh, to play some of the games that aren't available on Mac. So it's it's a purchase worth making. But um, I just hate PC hardware and Windows so much. Uh, I can barely uh, endure the little bit of interaction I have to have with it just to play a game on um, on the, the emulator. Um, you know, I mean, once the game is open and running, it's fine, but ugh, the file system, the updating, and yesterday, just to get things as far as I got them, I had to update my Internet Explorer, uh, I had to um, update Windows uh, to Service Pack 3, um, I had to uh, install Origin, which is EA's uh, game, uh, you know, live online gaming platform, which is required for, for playing this game. I had to download the game. Um, oh, sorry. I had to install Origin, then as soon as I launched Origin, it started a self-update, uh, which took like half an hour. Um, then I downloaded the game, and as soon as uh, I got the game downloaded, it started a self-update. And I was not within uh, internet range, uh, range of good enough internet to finish that process until I got home in the evening. Um, so SimCity finally got updated and uh, it, it installed with a couple of crashes during the, the install process, which um, led me to have a missing uh, DLL file, which uh, to track that down took some time. And then I reinstalled Origin and reinstalled SimCity. Um, and reran all the updates. I finally got a got to a point where the game would launch, but it crashed immediately with display problems. So from there, um, I fiddled with the settings of oh, and then I so then I updated uh, VMware. I fiddled with the settings of VMware in the game as much as possible, and was able to get the launch movie to play uh, once, uh, but then. I lapsed into the, into the same kind of annoying uh, crash, uh, crashing troubles uh, that I was seeing earlier. So it's kind of
kind of annoying. Um, and I don't, um, I don't know if it's going to be able to, to it's something I'm going to be able to solve. So we'll see. I'll give you an update when I have more. And in the meantime, I'm going to sign off uh, to keep this short today. And uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, we're, we're supposed to get some uh, nasty weather tonight, so it may actually be a couple days before I'm out on the bike again. We'll see how it goes. Um, but have a good day, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.